In this video, I'll show you how to use our data source configuration wizard, which helps you easily bind our controls to data. I'll use our grid control in this demo. The wizard works with most available types of data, such as ADO.NET, SQL, Entity Framework, XML, and many others. It automatically creates any required code snippets, so I'd recommend using the wizard compared to binding via the standard ADO.NET mechanism. Let's walk through the wizard. I already have a project open with our grid control on the form. You can start the wizard one of two ways. Either use the control smart tag and click on the data source wizard link, or use this icon here on the bottom left. The first thing to do here is to choose between the seven different technologies available. For this example, I'll choose SQL Data Connection. On the right, you'll see a list of data sources available. It's empty now, so let's add one by clicking on the New Data Source button. I'll mention here that the following pages may be different depending on which technology you've chosen. This next box pops up to basically tell us that we can edit the data source later on by using the Smart Tag. Click OK, and our Connection Editor wizard appears. This helps you choose an existing connection or create a new one. I'll choose No so I can specify the parameters myself, and then click Next. Here, I'll create a new connection. First, choose a provider. In this demo, I'll select Microsoft Access 97. Then, select a database. I'm going to locate our sample Northwind database and double-click to open it. You'll find this database in the DevExpress Demos installation folder. Depending on the provider, you may need to specify additional settings like authorization credentials. Click Next. And here we're asked if we want to save the connection string to the application's configuration file. We can also use authentication. I'll keep everything as is and click Next. Now we have to create a SQL query. If there's any stored procedures available, they would show up in this box here. I'll need to click Run Query Builder. A designer pops up, and here's where we add the specific data we want to show. For this demo, I'll drag the Products table over. By checking this box, we're selecting all of the table's columns available. I can then deselect the specific columns I don't need. Notice on the right that our query updates automatically. I can make sure everything is connected by clicking on the Preview Results button. I can also apply a predefined filter. Here, I'll choose to only show products that have a units on order value greater than zero. Click OK to complete the Query Designer, and then Finish to complete the wizard. And now, we were able to connect our grid to data without writing a single line of code. If I run the app, you'll see our grid connected to all of the data we specified in the query. And that's it. Thanks for watching, and thank you for choosing DevExpress.